Hi. Okay, my name's Alistair McCleary. I'm a vascular surgeon in York in, in the United Kingdom. I've got a special interest in uh, carotid endarterectomy and carotid disease in general. Uh, the, stroke is a very common problem in Europe with one million patients a year suffering from a stroke. And up to a, one half of these patients, the, carotid, the stroke has been caused by a stenosis of the carotid artery. Many years ago, it wasn't clear what the best treatment for stroke was, and then many patients were simply given an aspirin and, that, and, stopped, and told to stop smoking, and that was it. But carotid trials in the 80s and 90s showed there was definitely a benefit for carotid surgery in patients who had a symptomatic stenosis more than 50%. It's therefore very important that we look for, the, for um, this disease because if we can treat it, we can prevent further strokes. However, what's becoming more apparent in recent years is that it's very important uh, to see these patients quickly and to act quickly. If someone has a small stroke, such as a TIA, the risk of another stroke is highest within the first two weeks. Up to 25% of these patients will have a, a further stroke within two weeks of the first event. It's imperative, therefore, these patients are seen urgently and they have urgent treatment. Because of that, in the United Kingdom now, we run TIA clinics. Any patient who presents with a small stroke, TIA, perhaps amaurosis fugax, uh, is referred urgently to, to the TIA clinic and they should all get an appointment within 48 hours. At the TIA clinic, they'll be assessed by a stroke physician or a neurologist and he would nearly always obtain a carotid duplex scan. If this scan shows a, a tight stenosis that is more than 50%, then the patient will be referred for surgery. We still prefer carotid endarterectomy over, over a stent. Um, uh, all, the, all the randomized trials have shown that surgery is better than stent. But the most important thing is that the, that the patients must have the treatment urgently. There is no time to lose. We would recommend patients be referred immediately to a TIA clinic, they should be seen within 48 hours, have immediate imaging. If they do have significant disease, they should be admitted to the hospital and in our institution they would have their surgery the next day. We perform most of our surgery under local anaesthetic, but a general anaesthetic is fine as well. And regardless of what kind of anaesthetic the patients have, they should normally be able to go home one day or two days after the surgery. They should return completely to normal within a week, if not two. But the most important message is time is of the essence. As soon as a patient has a stroke or a TIA, there's no time to lose. They need to have carotid imaging as soon as possible and surgery urgently. The most recent guidelines recommend that every patient who needs surgery should have it within 14, 14 days of the presenting symptom. In the meantime, all patients must have antiplatelet therapy. Clopidogrel is the first line choice, but if, not, if they're allergic to clopidogrel, aspirin plus presentin. If they can't take aspirin or presentin, then aspirin alone. 